Hey guys, back with another See You Well video and today I am finally bringing you guys Star Circle Guide Explaining how Star Circle work the, ye the reason I have waited with this video Is that I want to get the second Star Circle So I can make a more understanding guide So you guys understand more about the Star Circle So, what is the Star Circle? Basically, if you go to your skills You'll have a star circle option on the last tab. How do you get this option? You have to complete the star circle quest once you hit level 50 path. Once you hit 50 path, it'll pop a quest on your left sidebar. Do the quest. It's a pretty long quest. It takes about an hour to finish. Uh, but once you complete the star circle quest, right? You'll get this tab option right here. The reason why you want to get a star circle is because as you can see on the right here, it gives me some passive abilities. Damage, spell crit, crit. And it gives me some effects, which I'll explain more. And it will increase your gear score and giving you higher stats. It will be necessary for harder raids or PvP and so on. Now, how do you get this star circle? So once you complete the quest, you have this, you will have no, there won't be no blue uh, star circle right here. But first of all, before I show you how to get the blue one, I'm going to get a new one right now, a second one. So how do I get the second one? You do the survival mode. Let's go here, uh, survival mode, survival camp. Star Circle of Roar, I just got my medals done, boom, I got a Star Circle of Roar, and I'm going to equip this, use, and I'm going to equip this in the second spot. Uh, equip, bam. Alright, now, I have two Star Circles at the same time. You can be like, wow, speed. how is that possible? So you can have two Star Circles, you're getting stats from both of them, but not all of them, I will show you right now. So, first of all, I want to show you how to get this Star Circle before I start explaining how Star Circle works. So basically you need Flower of Terranus. Once you have 10 Flower of Terranus, you want to go to the NPC. It will take you to Yernstar City, to the left, the Divine Merchant. You guys know him, everyone knows him. He's on the left side right here. Alright, you talk to him, he will give you your first Star Circle. Uh, cost only 10 flowers, you get 10 flowers from doing all heroic raids and raids in a week. So you talk to him, exchange for Star Circle, boom, you see here, buy Star Circle Swiftness. Once you have bought this, you want to equip it just like I did with the Roar one. Now, how do they work? Alright, so first of all, it's unactivated, okay? So now I unactivated my Star Circle, right here. Look at my stats, okay? It, my attack is 13, 18, crit is same, you know, piercing is 1. Now, what the Star Circle does is, it, even though you have it not activated, like I have two Star Circles, right? Both of them are giving me the passive stats. You see the passive attribute spell damage? Exactly. When I activate it, then I get the piercing rate and movement speed. So, here, you guys are, see, my piercing went up to 15. Now, this is why the star circle are so good. So there are, how many spots is there? 3, 4, 5, 10. There's 10 star circle options, right? If you have 10 different star circles, you can have all equipped. And all the passive stats you're getting from the star circle you will have them equipped at all times. Now, let me give you an example right now, all right? So, right now I have this equipped, right? 48 attack. Look, I have the 48 attack right now on me. 13, 18 attack. Now, if I activate this, right? You remember what my attack was? It was 13, 18. I activated this. Look, my attack is still there, 13, 18. The stats I'm still getting from the blue one is still there. But the only thing I'm losing is the layers, so movement speed, mount speed, piercing rate, etc. So you're losing the team buff, but that doesn't matter because usually there will be someone in team with a huge star circle who can give you a team buff. I'll explain that too. So let's say I upgrade this one, right? HP plus 5. To, I have 22.7k HP right now, right? And you know, I'm still gonna have this equipped, but I'm gonna level this up. Level up, bam. But it's the 10 HP now. Remember what my HP was? Now it went up by 5 HP because I upgraded and look I still have like let me get the star shards so the both of them are still giving me stats so you can get basically you guys you can get all 10 star circle different there are no there you don't have that right now there's only four different star circles right now but you can equip four different star circles get four different kind of stats in the different star circles so my next goal is to get the florist star circle and then agility star circle and equip them at the same time now let's move on to the stages all right so as you can see here i don't think i can level this up but let me get it as high as i can as high as much hp as i can get from this one let's see 
You know what? Let's level this thing up too. While we level up. Two things at once, alright? Now, let me show you. I need another Star Strike for Aurora to level up the Stage 2, Tier 2. I need another one. So I can't do that right now, but I can do it soon once I get my second Roar Star Strike. I need 100 more medals. Now, once you level it up to the next tier, you will get the Auxiliary Star. Auxiliary Star gives me... will give me... As you can see, spell accuracy and hit rating. If I level it up, it will give me more hit rating, more spell accuracy. And then, as you can see here, if I level it up to tier 2, I'll get a next stage, a next stage, a next stage, a next stage. And these different stages, here just shows what the stages have. It will have hit rating, spell accuracy, trigger, PvK, physical HP drain, and so on. But these are team buffs. So you can activate someone's, if I have someone in team, like let's say I have a speed, speed in team. I can set him to be the core star circle. If he has a higher level star circle than me, then the layers that he has, like spell accuracy stuff, that's what's going to be activated for me. But you will still have your passive attributes such as crit, spell damage, etc. So let me see, I upgrade another, like the major main star circle right here. Bam, upgraded. I, I, everything went up by plus one, and my stats increased. Even though spades, at, uh, star kills is active. His passive layers are active. My main passive stealth, I will still get stats from them. That's why Star Circle is so important. People think that Star Circle is only one in the team that needs to have it. No, everyone has to have it. The passive attributes you get from these are so good. Like, I'm getting just from one Star Circle, and it's not even high level, it's tier 3. People have these at tier 5, like, insanely high levels. They have, like, upgraded all these, getting a lot of critical from this, and they have probably, like, Almost 80 damage, 5-6% crit, just from one star circle. And then you'll get a second one right here. This will probably be hitting like 400 HP at high level. Hit rating by... Now what does Roar give again? Let me see here. Roar gives me hit rating and HP. So people will be rocking like 5% hit rating from this. So probably HP will be like uh, 400. Let's upgrade this, okay? I have, I have a starlight mirror. Let me get this. And the higher upgrades you get, of course, the more expensive it's gonna get upgrading these. So let me, I have 15 of these, man, I'm cheating, I know, I'm cheating! I'm just kidding, I'm not cheating, I just bought it. So boom, let's level this up. See, as you can see here, my rating should go up to 1%. There we go. Hit rating went up to 1%, spell accuracy went up to 1%. Now, my passive ability is 1% extra hit rating from that, 1% extra spell accuracy from that. And, well, the spell accuracy, does that mean I get normal accuracy too? Let me check here, accuracy, no. You only give me spell accuracy. What the hell? I want spell, I want normal accuracy too, not only spell accuracy. But it's cool, you know? So it just shows, no, spell accuracy is hit ready for uh, Mystic, sorry, my fault. Just confusing. Uh, but yeah, so what it does, guys, is it gives you all the passives. So let's say I get my third star circle, which will be... The Star Circle of Flourish, right? What does Star Circle of Flourish give? HP, Spell, and Parry. So when I have that here, it's gonna be give me HP, Passive, um, Parry, and Spell Damage. I think it's Spell Damage or Spell Defense, I don't know. But yeah, that's what it's gonna give me on the third one. And on the fourth one, which will be Agility, gives me Attack, Spell, and Accuracy, which is pretty good. That's what I really want. It's gonna be a lot of damage for that one. I will have four Star Circle equipped. You can unlock them the higher pa uh, talent level you get. And... You will get you. You can just level it up by getting the star shards. Okay, star shavings. Where, where do you get star shavings? Okay, you go to trade. All right, you go to star circle store. You buy the star shavings from here. Bam, bam, bam. As many as you want. Star dust or powder. You can buy it. Bam, bam, bam. Let me buy two today. Okay, the higher level you get, you will start using stardust flower. As you can see in mine, it's getting starting to use stardust flowers. Here, it gets start getting expensive on the passives. Not the passive. The auxiliary stars. That starts getting expensive. You need bloods. You need, you need frost hearts. So you want to level up every. Like what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna level up every of them like pretty average. All of them like just average, and then maybe go hard on one, which I really want. Uh, which I really want the passive stats from. But I'm gonna try level them up like equally. Uh, I got extra start on this one, of course, level four. It's gonna be take me a long time to like reach this. Uh, the other as high as this one. 
but like guys look at these stats get the star circles it increases your gear score by a lot you'll get so much higher stats easy dungeons and raids will be so much easier to do so focus on your star circle guys any questions about star circles let me know in the comment section below i hope this was like it was understanding it's like get just focus on getting your star circles very important okay do your survival modes have fun and get higher stats and these will be necessary not only now but when we do reach level 55 you will need star circles and we probably need star circles by then so you want to get your four star circles now and then get the rest ones later so thanks so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned for more col videos guys